Welcome to Art Explained, a vibrant hub for enthusiasts of art, art history, storytelling, and art education, catering to all levels of interest and expertise. Jean-Jacques Enner was born on March 5, 1829, in Bernwiller, a quaint village in Alsace, France. The son of local farmers, Henner exhibited a profound connection to his homeland, maintaining this bond even after Alsace was annexed by Germany in 1871. Opting to retain his French nationality, he made annual visits back to his beloved region. artistic talents were first recognized in his school years by his drawing teacher. His journey in art began under the mentorship of Gabriel Guérin in Strasbourg and progressed significantly thanks to a grant from the Haute-Rhin Department Council. This support enabled him to study under the guidance of Drolling and Picot at the prestigious École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. While in Paris, Henner immersed himself in traditional artistic training and drew inspiration from the masterworks of Italian Renaissance icons like Titian, Raphael, and Correggio. He also admired the works of Hans Holbein, especially the body of the dead Christ in the tomb, displayed at the Basel Museum. French painters such as Ingres, Proudhon, and Corot from the first half of the 19th century further influenced his style. After a period in Rome, Henner initially embraced naturalism, influenced by contemporaries such as Manet and Degas. He exhibited La Toilette in 1868, but later destroyed the painting due to harsh criticism. Over time, Henner shifted from naturalism to painting idealized subjects drawn from antiquity, echoing the pastoral poetry and mythology found in classical literature as seen in his works, Idol and Eclogues, shown in 1872 and 1879. From the 1870s onward, Henner's career flourished. He became a renowned portrait artist and was elected a member of the Institut de France in 1889, later receiving the highest rank in the Order of the Legion of Honor in 1903. His historical and religious subjects were regularly featured at salons and universal exhibitions, with pieces like Saint Sebastian showcased in 1888. While he received few commissions, the French state acquired many of his works for the Musée de Luxembourg and major regional museums. 
His pieces also captivated private collectors, including Alfred Chauchard. Despite not conforming to the era's academic ideals and being criticized when compared to traditional historical paintings, Henner remained uninterested in reconstructing history or focusing on narrative elements like costume or decor. His unique blend of idealism, realism, and Renaissance sense influences parallels the Neo-Florentina style of his sculptor friends Paul Du Bois and Alexandre Falguieri. His paintings, widely reproduced through engravings and photographs, achieved iconic status. There is a dedicated museum for Henner in Paris called Musée National Jean-Jacques Henner. These are some visuals from that museum. Thank you for joining us at Art Explained. Your support means everything to us, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating topics in our next video.